Anyway, I'm glad you're all here today. We, uh, we uh, at the uh, conclusion of the service today, are going to be receiving a benevolent offering, and that's is very unusual. And it's separate. It will all 100% go to the Deacon's Benevolent Fund. And so you don't have to worry about it now, but on your way out today, we'll have deacons or ushers at the doors to receive a benevolent offering. We have a custodian in our church who has a son, that's Juan, and his son's name is Joseph, and he's been in intensive care for over four weeks. And um, at this point, our custodian has lost his home, they have lost their car. Um, and the son, the son just went through another surgery yesterday, and so uh, as part of my prayer this morning, I want to pray for uh, Juan and his wife Lourdes and their child Joseph. And I just can't imagine going through this day after day after day of, in, of neonatal intensive care. And uh, on a positive note, um, today is the last day that you're going to be sitting on burnt orange pews. Uh, kind of brings a tear to a class eye, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, these pews have been here for 30 years, and they are really held up pretty good, but they're all going to come out if everything goes according to schedule. I've learned to be careful, don't promise. Uh, but if, according to schedule, should be tomorrow, they will be removed, and then they'll be bringing... Uh, very nice chairs, uh, padded chairs in here. Um, so don't worry about where we're going to be sitting. The chairs uh, will probably be very comfortable because they've got the good support and everything. And that will be uh, this coming week, uh, starting tomorrow, we'll be putting chairs in. And then they're going to take all this, all the carpet out and, and all. And, and uh, over the next four weeks, the pews will get refurbished and the carpet's going to get replaced. And, it's just going to be uh, gorgeous, so uh, we're very, very thankful. You can see we're trying to enhance the light in here, and we're doing a test today. I need to ask the choir, is it, is it bright enough for you now? Okay, that's good, because this is a, one of the things we had to do. They couldn't even read their, their books up there hardly. It was so dark. Now we've got a little more light up there, so it looks better. Anyway, we're working on it. And, uh, Pastor? Yes. We doing that this week, and we could use some help. Oh, we could use help. Oh, you can't you can't be a chief if there's no Indians. We gotta have Indians. So I think Mark's saying he could use help if you are willing or able to help in some way with uh, moving chairs from Hemet Valley Baptist Church to our church and unloading them and setting them up in here. They're going to be picking up chairs tomorrow morning at 9. And uh, if you're able to help tomorrow, that would be great. If you're able to help at a different time, let Mark know. Anybody else? That dude, okay. Let Mark know, and then he'll, he can let you know when, when he needs the help. That's the best thing. Get me out of the middle, middle man. <laughs> Amen. So let's go to the Lord and... Uh, and pray, and especially remember little baby Joseph. Father, I just want to thank you for the gift of life, and I want to pray for Juan and Lourdes and the, the dilemma that they find themselves in. It's tough living in the Ronald McDonald house for week after week after week, and uh, with two other children, and then their baby Joseph there in the surgery that he had yesterday. And we just pray that your will be done in this child's life. I know you're able to heal. I also know you're able to comfort and strengthen this Joseph's parents, Juan and Lourdes. And we just pray that you might help them with practical needs that they're facing. And then, Lord, today we come before you. We want to worship you. And we present ourselves to you with uh, just deep gratitude for all you've done for us. So now, as we lift up our hearts to you, let's sing and worship our Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. 